Uh-oh, another imposter. This time it's an 18-year-old college student. Looks like every other senator in the state senate. Uh, pretending to be a senator. He says he was faking it for a good cause. Isaiah Aiken says he impersonated an Ohio state senator merely to expose security risks in the small town schools. He told the paper, I'm going to quote this, I was duping to prove a point that these kinds of things can happen. They could easily have Googled me, and they didn't. They didn't. Back with Sarah and Elise, Judy and Karamo. <laughs> I, I, I don't buy it. Sarah, uh, you, know you going to defend who's this the, guy? Look, yes. <laughs> Is it another? <laughs> who's the, of course I can. Who's the victim here? I mean, nobody's harmed by this. I think the school staff had a responsibility to, the, to look this up I and mean, give me a break. Yeah. Like, hello, there's got to be a, you know, a stupidity defense. And, and they just failed to do that. I mean, and, and who's hurt by this? At the end of the day, it's a well, slap on the wrist. Well, when you impersonate a, a, a police officer, if you, when you impersonate someone of that level, there's a reason that it's a crime. There's a crime because people, you're supposed to have a certain amount of respect for that office. And when someone comes in and, and, and pretends they're someone that they're not, there is risk and there is damage of there. Of course, there's, there, it's a crime, but it's a victimless crime. So I mean, what should this man be, what should he get? What, what should the punishment be? Uh, a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor with some well, community service. He was charged with two felonies, impersonating a peace officer and telecommunications fraud. Yeah. Too harsh? And, and those, yeah, absolutely, those can be negotiated and reduced to misdemeanors, and he can do some community service, and he'll learn never to con a school district but again. I think both of these kids are excellent. Just to be very honest with you, I think both of them. Because they're showing us the holes in our system. I know that one was really had some mental health issues, and this one just seems like a little arrogant, little, it's you like know. like a frat boy. Exactly. Like, you know, you just want to like. So, so hang on. Let me, from, I want to I paraphrase what you're saying. I want to make yeah. sure my audience hears this. So for all criminals out there, you're just showing us the loopholes in our well, system. No, these, you're showing us where we're yeah. a little weak, yeah. and we'll tighten it down. Well, and no, we, these, go ahead if we these don't. These are little kids. I mean, I have a, a, a kid that is his age. My son is 19. And when I look at him, I see the innocence in there. And I also see, like you said, this is victimless. No one got hurt. But what it did wake me up and say, anyone could be walking into my son's school. Anyone could be walking to any of our children's or family members' schools. And no one's paying attention. It's as simple as Googling. This other kid is walking around as a doctor, and no one is saying, hey, why do you look what? so young? What is going on here? Yeah, I wake up, America. It's time to wake up. Get your life in order. I think we've had plenty of warning that our school system does not have good security. There's been some real serious crimes at school. So I don't think we needed this reminder. I do think, however, that this is a classic blamer. He just wants to blame everybody else well, for no, problems. No, but Judy, to be you fair, should have Googled him. To be fair, right? it's his attorneys doing the blaming for him. He told the police he, he got high doing this, right? He would actually get a high from it, which is a little mm. concerning. Just saying, the attorney calls him, quote, an ambitious young person who is trying to be a political act activist. Sarah, don't you want to marry that man? Isn't he, isn't he one of your, isn't he one of your, okay, not right quite. Cut from your <laughs> he claims Aiken's plan to write a paper about security lapses in schools, but university officials say there is no tie between Ohio State and this incident. Convenient, right? No ties. The attorney, shouldn't the attorney have looked to make sure they could have uh, substantiated what he was claiming? I think so. Okay. I mean, right. yeah, well, if I were you, you that. Would have checked, checked <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid when you said that he gets highs from this because yes. that cues me into the type of antisocial personality that has that low brain stimulation and just can't get the kind of high that we would get from eating a piece of chocolate. Right. Like you so, need to so do Judy, something real extreme. I want to put a little code on that because yeah. uh, hang a lantern on that as it were because that, that is a really important piece of data because people that get high from manipulating, get high from breaking crimes, get high from extreme uh, sort of, uh, what would you call deviant. this? Yeah, yeah, deviant activities. That is a severe sociopath who has a very low heart rate. They don't feel much. They don't have anxiety. So in order to feel anything, they have to do these extreme, very intense sorts of activities. Now, the school superintendent says, i got to quote this, visitors and guests will now be thoroughly scrutinized through research and verification of their identity and purpose. Karamo, there you go. I Here we go. Criminal, See, like I said, criminal has great let us. job. <laughs> I <laughs> John, we're kudos to exactly. We're just going to Google now. You know? And who thinks that there's a new senator and no one got the memo? This guy was talking to an American government class. 
How is it that you don't know your own senator exactly. that represents you? Know what? That's what I'm saying. We need to wake up. But everybody didn't want to be called out to be like the uh, not knowledgeable one. So but everyone's that, like, maybe the I'm the one. That's the problem we have nowadays in this Google era is that nobody wants to be called out. No one wants to do the research, do the work, and this kid is showing you. And when we talk about the fact that, you know, it, the it, whatever his symptom was that you all described, does he, he have gets a high. He gets does, high when he does bad things. But does, bottom he, line. does he have a history of doing this before? Or was this the one incident where he woke everyone up? And well, said, he's 18. Hey. This is when this stuff really starts. It <laughs> really gets going. He hasn't had a time to do it yet. It was yeah. a well-planned <laughs> event, too. I, I mean, know. with the security and the car and the yes. age. That's what the actual I mean, senator said, is that this was not just him walking through a door. This was him yeah. really elaborately planning yes. and getting off on this. Next up, and by the way, speaking of that, think how different that is than the Uber driver who was just agitated and out of control, not systematically getting high from cold-blooded. It's a different thing. Mm. Next, Jared Fogel's in prison. We all know that for being a pedophile.